Hi everyone, this is GameWatch 1996, and today I'm going to show you how I record my uh, PS3 gameplay. And so I'm going to go ahead and run through this real quick. Um, this is just a setup part of the video. I'll show you how to do all the recording. So, things you're going to need is a game system, like a PS3 or Xbox 360 or Wii. You're going to need an easy cap. And this is an easy cap tutorial, so uh, I don't know how this will uh, go with like Dazzle or nothing like that. And what else you'll need is you'll need this cable. Um, you can pick up one of these cables at Walmart for $15. It is a universal cable for PS3, Xbox 360, and the Wii. Um, it comes with HD um, component cables, composite cables, and S-Video, and the S-Video is what we need. Uh, so if you could just get a composite and S-Video cable, you should be good to go, depending on your TV. So, um... Basically, what we need to do here is I want to re I'm recording S video um, format. So what we need to do is we need to take the S video plug from here. And before we even get started with that, actually, let's go ahead and take this the PS3 plug in and plug it into the back of the PS3. Now do do you realize that? Um, on these cables right here, the um, it does not go in all the way, so don't try to force it in. It'll go in about halfway, and that's it. Um, so we got this, all these plugged in. Make sure you have the little box if you're using this exact uh, cables. Make sure you have the box that is on it. Make sure you have that set for um, AV and S video. Um, the switch should be pushed to the left. If you're looking at from the front, and what you're going to need is if you want to record in S video, you, you do just take your Easy Cap and your S video coming out of your cables and plug those in together. So, what you do, put these, plug them in together, you go in like that, and so now you got your PS3. Put up to the easy cap. Now you can, instead of using, uh, if you don't have an S video cable, you can just take your normal composite cables that came with the uh, game system and plug those and plug the yellow into yellow. But I would highly recommend getting an S video. But all these settings I'm going to show you will apply for uh, S video and for composite. But I highly recommend getting an S video because the quality is like two to three times better than composite, and it just helps out a lot. Um, the next thing you're gonna do is if you wanna if you wanna record while you're playing on your TV screen, I'm just using this little um, screen here as a demonstration because it did have the um, composite cables, composite cable plugins. This is a little demonstration. What you do is on this cable, since it has both composite and S video, your S video goes to your uh, Easy Cap, and your composite cable will go into your uh, TV screen. So you just take the yellow cable, which is your video cable, and plug it into the yellow slot on the television. Like so. <clears throat> so basically, if it's all said and done so far, you'll have um, a cable coming out of the back of your PS3, like a normal deposit cable. Um, you know, your box set to uh, left for uh, composite and AVS cable, you'll have uh, your, the, your S video hooked up to your Easy Cap and your composite cable hooked up to your TV. In case you want to play the game on a television while you're recording on S video on your computer, and what you do is, of course, you just plug this into your side of your computer and then you got your video there. Um, the next thing you need, I would highly recommend to get, is one of these. Now, these things are here, cost little to nothing. What they do is you just plug in your audio cables into them, and you just plug it into the uh, slot, your microphone slot, on your computer. And so what you do is you just take your audio and video cables from your cable here, and you just plug them in. Like so, red to red, white to white, of course. And then on this end right here, you just plug that into your, you just plug that into your microphone jack on your computer, 
and you should have wonderful quality because EasyCap does not have good quality audio at all. Um, still record the EasyCap um, audio because what you will need for is to sync it up, and you'll see that here in just a minute. So just to recap real quick, what you need is you'll you need this cable. It has the S video and the composite. Unless you just want to record in composite, then you can just plug it in like that, and then use splitters and all that stuff. But this is uh, good. And so you have that running out. You have it set for S video and composite, and have your composite cable, video cable running to your TV. Have your S video running to your Easy Cap. Have your audio cables plugged into the splitter that'll go into your microphone jack, and you should be ready for the recording part of it. So in this next part of the video, I will show you how to how I record my videos, and so let's get started. All right, we're back, and I already got my Uli Video Studio program here and my Vegas Pro, and this is the part where I'm going to show you my settings for recording video. Um, I already opened up Uli Video Studio and Movie Wizard because it takes a little time to load up. Um, Uli can be very slow while loading up, but now we're in it. So first thing we're going to do is make sure you have your Easy Cap selected, which mine is SMI Grabber device. And the format, what you need to set it to, is switch that to DVD format. Um, it don't take much space, but it works very well, high quality. Um, set your capture location. I recommend um, putting it somewhere like your desktop, or if you have an external hard drive like I do plugged in, um, put it in there. Um, in the options now, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to video and audio property settings. And we're going to change our input source. If you're using S video, switch that to S video. If you're using composite, keep it on composite. But for now, I'm going to switch it to S video because that's what I'm using. That's why I used to record my, my new videos with. And it works great. NTSC um, for that. Make sure your audio device is set for high definition um, or to your microphone. Your internal microphone on your computer where your, where your microphone jack is because I got my... I use that splitter for the audio and plug that into the microphone jack. And next thing, go over here to color. Just change the sharpness from 4 to 15. Go over here to capture. Go to advanced. Uh, keep it on 720 by NTSC, 720 by 480. Set um, display aspect to or ratio to 16 by 9. Keep it variable bit rate 8,000. Um, everything the same. 224 and click on the interlaced output because that will make your quality a lot better it'll automatically work on that hit OK hit OK again and you should be ready to capture your video so just recap got it set for DVD got your capture folder got your S video NTSC TV system uh, color set for sharpness uh, Sharpness set for 15, capture, advance, 720 by 480, as long as I'll switch on you, 16 to 9, de interlaced output, variable 8000, 224, and all that stuff. So if you just go ahead and set all that to that, you should be good to go. And I've noticed on these qualities that it does make the video um, really great, um, even before putting it into Sony Vegas. So I'm going to go ahead and record my video and I'll be back to show you how to edit it in Sony Vegas so and uh, one other thing before I actually go into Sony Vegas real quick if a little tip if you want to if you're recording um, without splitters going into your TV for the audio if you just haven't plugged into your microphone jack here's how you can listen to your audio while you're recording it because if you don't have this set you won't be able to you'll just be seeing the video instead of the audio um, but while you're recording the audio you can actually listen to it listen to it on your um, speakers so in order to do that you just go down here to your speakers click right click on recording devices then as you see the microphone here you gotta find your default microphone which it'll be going into and then from there what you do is you click right on that hit properties go to listen check listen to this device and hit apply and then you should be able to hear it come through the speakers um, so after you get done playing playing your video or playing your game system you just need to uncheck that and hit apply or else you'll hear like echoes coming through your 
coming through your stuff. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go into Sony Vegas. Here we go. All right, I have now recorded my video, my audio files. The audio was recorded with Audacity and the video file was recorded with Ulead. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up our Sony Vegas and import those two files. Go ahead and um, just go ahead and half this, drag this in here and drag that in there. There. So now we have those two in. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to drag our video file to the to the work zone and drag our audio file to the work zone. And as you see here, the video file has audio already on it, but Udly doesn't record in good audio, so we use um, Audacity to re to record in great audio. I mean, Audacity is just like here now off the TV. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just zoom in on this and gonna go down here and it's important to have the audio that's already on the video because what we can use that is like a, a, a guide to sync us up with it and normally if you do it the right way um, by pushing like recording the video and then after you push record video then you record the audio then it should be pretty easy but I kind of messed up on it a little bit so what we're gonna so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my video cut that off in my case right there all the way over there and that's when the first words uh, or the real sound comes in um, on the video so what we're going to do here with our audio we're going to trim it all the way here and let's see let's see And what will happen is that we will end up syncing those up together. I believe that's where it first kicks in is right up here. Yeah, right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to shorten this up to where we get to right there on that perk right there. That peak. And we're going to put those together like that. And now let's see how those two are. So those are now perfectly lined up together. Now what we'll be able to do is we'll just um, go ahead and go to the audio that's, that was attached to the video. Click on mute on that one. So now we'll just be hearing the Audacity audio, which is a great quality audio. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to go up here to the video. Scroll up here to the, where it shows the video. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of those black lines that are on the outside of the video that we won't have on YouTube. So in order to do that, you just click right on the video, go to switches, uncheck maintain aspect ratio. So now you can see it's taller. And if yours is not already set like mine, you would have to um, go over here to crop and you would have to crop those right there right onto the video. So um, oh, you have that. But now we have our video on full screen, and what we're going to do is now we're going to work on the looks of the video. We're going to go ahead and find a good spot to where we can um, kind of determine what things look like a little bit, like here. We're going to take this little spot here, for instance, and we're going to go over here to Video FX or Video Effects. We're going to go up here to Brightness and Contrast, and drag Reset to None onto the video. And from there, set these settings right here. These settings are, to me, my favorite settings for videos. This is how I set mine when I record my videos. So this is 0 0.24. And you see over here, it change, over on the video, it changes. Um, so this is 0 0.27. Set the contrast center. Make that. Uh, 0 0.83 and go ahead and exit out of that. Uh, the next effect that's um, really good is saturation adjust. We need to go ahead and add that onto the video as well. 
and this is the good settings I like to set mine for is on the amount set the amount to 0 0.2500 set the center um, set it to 0 set spread to 1 set low and high both set those for 0 0.1200 each like that and so now you have that done you just exit out of that and then on the sharpen go ahead and take your sharpen effect add that to the video as well um, now you gotta be careful on what you set your sharp the sharpness of the video for because if you add too much then it'll end up looking like, like a cartoonish like that you set it um, and at zero of course that's just normal what it was already set for so go ahead I would recommend on the sharpen from anywhere from to 0 0.250 to 0 0.300 so I'm gonna go in the middle 0 0.750 and go ahead and exit out of that so uh, well actually before you do that I just wanna go ahead and uh, in 275 that's what I meant um, I just wanna recap on the what we have the settings for we have brightness and contrast set for those settings right there we have saturation adjust set for these settings right here we have sharpen set for these settings right here. I'm sorry, that's saturation adjust. Uh, sharpen is set for 0 0.275, and those are the effect settings. And so from here, you should be good to go. Um, make sure you do mute your audio on the video, and you should be just fine to go. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to put a link to the video that this. I mean, I'm gonna put a video. Um, this video, I'm gonna put a link to it in the description and on this video. That way, you can uh, check and see what these settings look like after they've been applied. Um, then, just to make the video, you just go over here to File, Render As, and name whatever you want, and then the um, just keep it on AVI and then save it like that, and you should be good to go. So, thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you think, how these things work for you, and if you have any ways to improve them, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.